guess what day it is? It's Leo Moon Day! <gasps> we are gonna have so much fun today. I'm gonna tell you why this is pretty much hands down my very favorite moon sign. Well, Taurus and Leo moons are pretty much tied for first place, but this is definitely like tied for first place in my book. And I'm gonna tell you all about why here. Now, it's not because they're simple. It's not because they're not melodramatic. It's not because they're not running on high octane fuel, no. But I am gonna tell you everything you need to know about your Leo moon now listen to me. Don't just watch this if you have a Leo moon. I want you to watch this video. If you are Leo rising, a Leo sun, a Leo mercury, Leo in Venus, Leo in Mars even, and Leo in Jupiter, or if you have a lot of planets in the fifth house. So if you have a fifth house stellium, watch this video. That means you have three or more planets in the fifth house. It doesn't matter which planets they are, and it doesn't matter which sign. They will have sort of a activation like a Leo. The other thing is, is I want you to watch this video if your significant other or your loved one has any Leo placements because I'm going to give you the underbelly. Yeah, the underbelly of the lion. Arar. Let's dive in. So I call this moon the Santa Claus moon. If anybody else calls it the Santa Claus moon, they heard it here on Soul Navigation. I have coined that term. I have also coined the term as the 10th house as Beethoven's house. So these are my little phraseologies, if you will. But I am just so fired up and I want you guys to know the deeper truths about astrology. You know, we don't do sun sign astrology here. <laughs> I know you know that. <laughs> if you know me and if you've watched any of my other 300 videos on this channel, you know we're not doing sun sign astrology. The Leo moon, what is it? And if you have a lot of Leo planets and if you're Leo rising, just apply this information to whatever planet you have in Leo or whatever planet you have in the fifth house. So if you're a Leo sun, well, your soul, your essence is going to act like this. If you have Leo rising, you're going to look like this. By the way, I tried to get my Leo hair on for all you Leo bitches today. <laughs> I'm crazy today. It's a crazy Leo moon day today. So the Leo moon is, yes, gregarious. Yes, it's playful. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it rules joy and happiness and the sunshine. And it is romantic. You guys, this is one of the most romantic moon signs. I am telling you, they tell you they're not going to give you a gift. Well, it's the Santa Claus moon. They're getting you a gift. Yeah, they're getting you a gift. So if your Leo moon says, hey, let's don't give gifts this year, um, I just want you to go out and get your Leo moon something because they're probably going to get you flowers, a card, or something. Leo moons have a hard time not giving gifts. They are so massively creative and colorful and dramatic and they're happy. They're very expressive. They can't hide what it is they feel very well. Not very well. It's hard for them to do the poker face. Yes, all that is true. And you will find those descriptions in pretty much every single video here on YouTube. <laughs> None of that is really boring to hear. I don't like being redundant. I like giving you things that you can't find and rolling out the golden nuggets of truth. That the truth that other people don't mention. So I like going beyond the stereotypes of Leo and Leo Moon and Yawn Boring. So if you want deeper astrology and if you're looking for the buried treasure, well then my channel is probably for you. So please like and subscribe and share my channel with anybody you know that needs or wants or desires or is looking for real astrology, deeper astrology, and astrology that goes way beyond the stereotypical sun sign astrology that you find pretty much everywhere. This is where we use our brains. And what I'd like for you guys to do is read the comments. Some of these comments, especially on certain playlists, like my Pisces playlist, my Aquarius playlist, my Scorpio playlist, my Leo playlist, um, and the other ones too. The, the comments are so deep. They're so rich. They ask such important questions. And by the way, if you join my channel and you're a super supporter or a superstar super supporter, I will answer your questions. I will guarantee you I will answer your questions if you're a superstar supporter and I try my damnedest. I try my hardest to be the very best person I can be and answer every super supporter question that you put in the comments. It might take me a little while, but when you get a little notification, ding, check, because it might be me answering your question. So we're going to go into the darker crevasses 
crevices of truth. We're going to swim into the deep together. The Leo moon has something really unique and special about it and something that you need to know and you cannot understand the Leo moon if you don't understand this secret little tip, this secret little technique and how to use this little secret little tip, secret little technique. And I'm going to show you that at the end. But first, it's important to know what having this massively gorgeous, beautiful energy in your chart, wherever it is, but especially if it's your moon sign, and why it is just so damn special. Leo moons are absolutely magnificent. And leave me a comment below and tell me, do you have a Leo moon? If you do, tell me what house your Leo moon is in. Pray to God you know that. You can only know that if you have your birth time, and I want to know where your sun is. Trust me, I know how magnificent Leo moons are. Why? Because I married one. Before I met my husband, I looked up his chart, and I saw, ooh, Leo moon. I knew I was with a man, first of all, who probably was going to pick up the tab, although I did not expect that. Secondly, I knew I was with somebody very generous. Third, I thought, ooh, I can't wait to meet him. This is going to be, at the very least, fun. And this is even before our first date. Now, I didn't know if I was going to be attracted. I didn't know if he was going to be all that in a bag of chips. Seeing that Leo moon, oh my God. And look where I am today. I got married at 53. Yeah, there is true love, people. There is true love. If you really want to understand why a Leo is the way they are, why do Leos need attention? Why do Leos like admiration? Why do Leos like you to speak in admiration. Why? 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 And wherever you have Leo in your chart, you like that kind of energy. Why is that so? Well, I would really like for you to go watch my Leo Rising video and also my Leo in Love video. I think my Leo Rising and my Leo in Love video may even make you cry. And if you're a Leo or have a Leo moon or have a lot of Leo energy and you watch those two videos, Leo in Love and my Leo Rising video, will you let me know if it choked you up? I want to know. Leos and Leo moons live inside the idea of possibilities. Yeah. And when you have a Leo moon in your chart, you are living inside of the idea of emotional possibility. Yes. You are living with the idea of possibility that this thing could really emotionally fulfill me. Now, you might not say those words, but you might say, ooh, this thing might make me really happy or fulfilled or joyful or excited or creative or joyful. So Leo moons think like, let's try this on. You know, they think in the terms of possibilities probably more so than most signs. Sagittarius does that and Gemini does that as well. But Leo really needs possibilities. What is possible here? Okay, so we're out, we've rented the jet skis, now we're like surveying the lake. The Leo is being so creative, they're like, ooh, What's the possibility here? Well, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a bottle of wine in my backpack, and I'm gonna put a blanket in the in the jet ski little side compartment, and I'm gonna bring a picnic, and I'm gonna find my girlfriend, and I'm gonna and they start creating in possibility, and they start coloring the dry canvas, and so imagine that now. What is possible? Well, that blind date could end up being my marriage partner, my prince charming maybe my one and only, maybe my soulmate, maybe my twin flame. I'm thinking inside of possibilities. And now really believe that for a minute, hope for that with me, right? So I'm walking into this blind date and I'm thinking with a Leo moon, wow, this might be something. This might be really special. I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful around this possibility. So try that on. You're sitting in the hopefulness of emotional possibility. And that right there, my friends, is what it feels like to have massively gorgeous Leo energy, especially a Leo moon. It is so fun. It is so exhilarating. It is so exciting to hope and to imagine and to create. It's childlike. It's playful. It's optimistic. It's fun. It 
doesn't lead with, no, that can't happen. It leads with, hmm, maybe. I wonder what's in store for me under door number two. <laughs> Life is a game. It really is like a playful game to play. It, I don't mean a game to toy with people, but a game to play. Leo is about finding and creating joy and generosity in life. They love being generous and being with generous people. And they like to be dignified and they, and they like to be the focus of attention. And they also have deep, deep emotional desire to become a great leader. And that matters. A leader that matters and being a leader matters to them. I mean, just think of Leo. The king of the jungle. Nobody takes down the lion. Nope. They are the king of the jungle. They're very regal and they're royal. And what makes Leo so charming and thrilling and interesting is Leo in its creative element can play a thousand roles. Yes, it can be 100 things. But at the core of every Leo, beyond all the stereotypes, is really two things. The first would be the hero or the heroine, okay? So being the hero or the heroine. And the second is being the romantic, and it's true. If you have a Leo moon, you probably really are both those things. So this is the hero's heart, and this is the romantic's heart if you have a Leo moon. You know, when you're watching Batman, who is invincible, and you think to yourself that he's cold and stoic and a Scorpio, and you think to your yourself, wow, he's just so stoic in all of his power. And then you get a glimpse of his heart, just a glimpse of his deep feelings that live inside. You get that tiny little glittering thing that is the Leo heart, probably inside the Scorpio soul. Yeah. Well, I think Batman has a Leo's heart. He is so generous with his spirit. He doesn't even get paid for all the jobs he saves and all the tasks that he does. He is so generous and he wouldn't do that if he didn't have a motivation that came from love. Yeah. He just looks like a Scorpio because that's his rising sign or his sun sign. Leos love big and they love being your hero. So they set up their life to save and rescue and love. Save and rescue and love. That's why I say Batman has a Leo heart. Kind of like an Aries, except they can play a lot of different roles much, much more easily than an Aries. Aries really can only be one way and one way only, and that's what they learn to be, and that's what they do, and you can't get an Aries to play different roles very easily. A Leo is born with creativity through, you know, pumping through their veins. And so they can play the many different parts much more easily than an Aries can. But Aries also likes to be heroic in its love. Now, I know they're fixed, but they're, they're fixed fire, they're masculine energy, they rule the fifth house, but their creativity allows them to sort of spontaneously make it up as they go and as they see what is needed of them. And because they play to an audience a lot, they know how to get an applause. They know how to get a laugh. They know how to change out the energy and the vibe. They are not mutable, but because they can change their roles, because they play to an audience and they can do whatever it takes to charm you, to win you, to win your affection and your admiration. See, Aries doesn't need that piece of it. Well, that's the part that makes Leo very creative and adaptable, spontaneous and flexible because they're going to bend to whatever they need to do to get you to kind of admire them, adore them, affirm them, approve of them. It's all the A's, the triple A's. Tell me if you're liking this video and leave me a comment and let me know. Where do you have Leo and are you involved with a Leo or a Leo moon? Let's keep going. So how are Leos stubborn and fixed? Leo moons are idealists. They actually believe 
in the goodness of people and they believe in the romance of life and maybe even secretly some Leos, many Leos still believe in fairy tales. Yes, the men are still in search of a unicorn and the women are still in search of their version of Prince Charming you know, or the knight in shining armor, whatever your deal is, the ideal human, the twin flame, the soulmate, the ideal. Leos believe in that kind of love and they don't budge until they find it. They are fixed in the idea of bad guys lose and good guys win. They're very black and white like that. The bad guys are the villains and the good guys are the heroes. They say things like love always wins or karma can be trusted. Good guys go to heaven, the bad guys go to hell or something like that. They really believe in a hierarchical order of good and bad. They don't always think that life is relative. They think that you get, you know, punished if you're bad and you get rewarded if you're good. Um, and so they like rewards. They like treats. They like the cookies at the end of the night. One thing I'll tell you though is that they don't always have the time or even the ability to see all the nuances like Cancer or Scorpio or even Gemini or Libra. They don't have a trained eye for that. But now after you've seen this video, if you have a Leo moon, look for it. They don't see the gray area very well and they can be very black and white like I mentioned. And it's Leo's mission in life to end up on the bright side of life, to end up on the sunny side, the good side, where you get points and you get extra credit and you get to walk through the pearly white gates at the end of your life, right? Where you get to go to a better place. They don't want to end up on the wrong side. They have a deep, deep desire to be the hero and your hero and even life's hero. Leo moons are very self-soothing and self-reliant when it comes to healing their wounds. Yeah, they can be big babies. They get a little arrow in their paw. Oh my God, they need you. But when it really comes to big wounds, big wounds that they feel vulnerable, they will do everything to hide them. They do not ask for help, nor do they even want your help, nor do they even want you to see what's wrong. No. They don't want you to see what's wrong. They want to be admired, not pitied. They want an emotional life that is set for a stage, a great performance, so they can plan great birthday parties and celebrate you and be celebrated. They like to show off their love and they don't mind PDA, not really. Some are a little bit shy, but they want the world to see that they are admired or desired or wanted. So maybe they don't want your slobbering face all up in theirs, but they would like to sit down at a table where you've already ordered the champagne and the roses are waiting for them. Cute story. So on my birthday, we went to this beautiful restaurant, one of our favorite restaurants, and it was just that. They had my little name card at my table and they had rose petals all on the table for me. Oh, I don't know. It made me like believe it was all for real. It was so sweet. That is very Leo. They are the great showmen. And so whoever owns that restaurant or whoever's idea was that they must have Leo in their chart. They're full of zest. They're full of life. They're usually really fun and super funny. They laugh from their hearts and they want to make you laugh. They want the sunshine. They're ruled by the sun. They want everything sunny and bright. And they have this brilliant creative intelligence and a big heart. They usually really, really, really like people. And when they like you, you can literally, literally feel their heart beating and you can feel their energy and their attention and their love. Oh, just shining, radiating from them onto you. And you're basking in the glow of their sunshine. And it feels so warm and it feels so good. Do you have a Leo moon? Are you like this? Are you involved with the Leo moon? Can you relate to this? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Anybody that you know that's a Leo, please share this video. Make them feel better about themselves. Why not? They deserve it. So Leos, they really can't stand nastiness and they're baffled by petty jealousy and backbiting, even though they can be jealous. They are the queens and kings of the Zodiac and they literally have no time for petty fights. No, they just cannot deal. <laughs> they will cut and run if it's too dank, too dark, too cynical, too harsh, too rude. If it's unkempt, if it smells bad, if it's gross, ugh. they will literally cast you off 
if you are gross. <laughs> no time for the rabble, people. No time, no time. <laughs> I have more important things to do with my life. Like, enjoy my freaking life without you. <laughs> so they can cut you out, especially if you're just like, Neh. <laughs> you have to be somebody pretty special to win a Leo. So if you're involved with a Leo, you're pretty special. At least they think so. <laughs> they don't waste their time with average souls. They really don't. They're the showmen. They play for the prize, if you will. They want more than anything a partnership that's colorful, that's super bright, like bright like sunshine. They want to be unrestricted. They don't like anybody bossing them around. They're the king of the jungle. They are the king. They are the queen. And they love people that feel a little bit new and original, big inside. They like people who feel big. They like people who, who have creative possibility and stand in the creative possibility of life. And they also are always on the lookout for the best possible income. And so they want to be with people who are also looking for the best possible income and not just squashing their dreams and telling them, no, you can't do that or no, you're crazy or no, no, no. They don't like that. No, they don't like that. They strive to be the best that they can be and they want to be with the best that they can be with because it fulfills them truly. They're not just seeking status. They actually feel love overfloweth their cup. You know, when they have the ideal, when they have the dream that they dreamed up sitting in the palm of their hand. Leos don't really get too bogged down with thoughts like, hmm, I don't really deserve that, or wow, I really, I really can't have this, or am I good enough, or I don't know if I'm pretty, and I don't know if I deserve, no. <laughs> they kind of don't believe that. They know they're special, and they are special. They don't even want to believe that, so don't try telling them that they can't have what they want. They can't have the dream. They are seduced by the dream. So if you want to seduce them, stand in their dream, their creative pursuit with them. Like, oh really, you want to be a singer? It's not too late. You want to be an opera singer? You're 50 years old? Well, gosh, let's get you an opera singer trainer person. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. You can join the, the Metropolitan Opera. I'm positive. Let's start learning German. <laughs> They're seduced by real confidence. Yeah, not bravado, but real confidence. So if you're insecure, jealous, petty, mm, maybe don't date a Leo moon because <laughs> they won't be around for long and it will hurt. So Leo moons are attracted to big, bold, radiant, radiant, radiant people that are commanding and they desire people that can appreciate, help, and assist in their ascension, in their leveling up, and those who are on a similar ascension with them. Trust me, Leo moons are not, I'll say it again, Leo moons are not picking a partner going nowhere. <laughs> so if you're going nowhere, don't pick a Leo partner. <laughs> what emotionally sustains a Leo person is having big dreams to chase. All you have to do is lay out the rainbow and put the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and just support them in them chasing their dreams. Yeah. Don't squash a Leo's dream. No, 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 no. Leo moons always have big ideas for themselves and they want more than anything to find a partner that believes in those ideas and those ideals with them and for them. And somebody who believes in their greatness and speaks to it and speaks to it every day, all the time, reminding them just how truly great they are. Somebody who has love for them in their heart and says it. They love expression. Express, express, express. Do not be stingy with your Leo, with your time, your energy, your love, your affection, your admiration, adoration, or your money. <laughs> Get out your credit card, people. <laughs> you better have a good credit score for your Leo because they expensive. Yeah, they like the good stuff. Yeah, my husband showed me what he wanted for Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to be sure to take out a small personal loan and get you that Christmas gift. <laughs> I was like, honey, what am I supposed to do? I can't even afford that. Are you kidding? He wanted a Gucci watch. I went in. I actually didn't know how much they were. I went in and I looked at it and I was like, can I, hi, can I see that watch? Um, she's like, well, which one do you want? We have 12. And I'm like, oh, that one's really pretty. She goes, Oh, that's our collector's item. It's only here for another three weeks and we have two left in the store. Don't worry, it's 
too. That's a lot. We're probably not going to sell it today. If you want to think about it, it's okay. And I'm like, well, can I just see it? She's like, let me go get the key. She walks over to the next room, slowly walks back. I'm like, oh my God, lady, I don't have all day. I just need to see the price of this watch. Can you just tell me? Can you just tell me how much it is? I mean, is it like $200? What is it? She turns it over and she goes, um, oh my gosh, this is on sale. It's so cute. Okay, this is down from $21,000 and it's just now it's only $10,000. 300. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to, I'm going to just think about it a little bit and see, see if I can do it. <laughs> Let me count my money. Okay. I've got five, six, seven dollars. Will that, will that work? <laughs> Thank God my husband loves me. He doesn't really need that. And, and I told him that. <laughs> if anybody has a hand me down, a knockoff, let me know. Leo Moon's do not like to show their vulnerabilities. They really don't. So you kind of need to, if your Leo moon is vulnerable, you kind of have to sort of pretend that you don't see them and speak to their greatness. They don't want you to go into their wound with them. They don't want you to catch a whiff of their blood. They are experts at hiding their wounds. So you're going to have to jockey between seeing the wound and pretending you didn't see it. Like it's something like that. Like, I, I know you're okay. I just check in on you. And then when they're asleep, you can go tend to their, tend to their wound. It's a hard line to walk because Leos will hide the ugly parts of their lives. Because they hide the ugly bits, it doesn't mean they don't love you. It means that Leo comes with pride. Yeah. Also, Leos don't realize when they're being selfish or self-absorbed. They actually really don't. You have to actually tell them. You actually have to tell them that they are sucking all the air out of the room and that they are being oblivious to anything and anyone else in the room other than them, their own selves that actually might have a need. And they will be one of two things when you tell them that. Shocked and also probably a little bit hurt. So I'm serious. They'll be kind of shocked and hurt. And they literally have no idea how they are selfish. They literally have no idea how they make other people feel sometimes, like as if other people are nothing. They don't even know. Like if they put you down, they don't even know they did that. They're just trying to build themselves up. That's what they're focused on. So if they put you down, it was probably a little bit unintended or by accident. And Leo moons can be really dramatic and they feel their feelings exactly like that. Like how they are in their drama, that's actually how they feel. When you tell a Leo moon, like quit being dramatic, that is so offensive. That is so freaking offensive. Can I just tell you why? It is so offensive because that's how they feel them. They feel them that big, that strong, with that much bold feeling. They express their emotions. You're offensive for telling them that they're making their feelings bigger than what they should be because shouldn't they be exactly what they are, real? They're showing it to you. And if you're a Leo Moon, tell me if you can relate to that. Also, you guys, I want to tell you right now, I am hoping so much you guys have your starter package. You get your gorgeous, colorful natal chart and you get your deep dive report. After that, if you already have that from my shop, all you do is go to soulnavigation.com, click on the shop tab, and then it will take you to my astrology reports and charts. After you get that, you really should get the advanced astro gold package. It is so good. It has two big giant reports and you can go look at them in the shop tab. I describe what they are and you'll get your progressed chart. Now, if you have that, you are going to see all the chart rulers for all the houses in your chart. And astrology is complicated. That will give you a massive tool to start with. And it is so, so good. And my charts are so gorgeous. And we're also offering our gorgeous art wheel charts. So go check out my store and look at all the reports and all the charts you can get. I cannot recommend my solar return chart enough either. And Connie Jo is doing our asteroid series. I hope you've all watched Connie Jo's asteroid series because she's talking about Dark Moon Lilith coming up. She's done Palace and Juno series. It's so good. And we have your asteroid report in the in the shop too and they are so good you have to know about your asteroids so if you feel like you've got a good grip on your planets and the signs and the aspects and the houses then move over to the asteroid reports and they are so so good to help you kind of crack the code on 
who am I? Why was I, why was I born? And where, where did I come from? And where am I going? Um, astrology is so real. It's so deep. It's so, so good. Back to another key insight about Leo moon people or Leo people. If you really want to make your Leo happy, it's not really just about adoring them or admiring them. What they most importantly need from you or want to feel in their lives is they want to feel like they're the most important person to their life, to their family, to whatever is critical or important to them. So if you're their partner, if you're their child, if you're their family, if you're their dog, if you're their boss, Leo wants to be the most important thing to the person or the thing that they value. If you're a Leo and you're a rock star, you want to feel like you are critical or you are the most important thing to your fans that you're singing in front of or to your partner or to your mom or to your daughter. They, that's how they feel emotionally fulfilled when they feel like they are critical to you. So let's talk about the shadow side, the hard side of Leo. Leos get a really bad rap. Why? Because the shadow side is so enormous, just like they are. I mean, they're ruled by the sun and you cannot hide the sun. Oh, let me just go put a blanket over the sun. No, you can't hide it. So you cannot miss the shadow side of a Leo. Some signs actually get praised for their shadow side, like Virgo. Oh, you're working so hard. Oh, you're such a hard worker. You're such a workaholic. Or Libras, like, oh, you're just so nice to everybody. God, do you ever have a bad day? I never see you not perfect or without a smile. Yeah. Well, not Leo. Leo's shadow side is being the almighty important one. I need my crown. <laughs> Nothing is important to Leo as Leo's own life, his own world, his own way. And if you're not part of it, um, you'll probably at times feel like you're not that important because what is important to Leo is what is in their life and their world. Leo is very childlike in some ways, just like a blissful little kid. It's hard for them to see beyond themselves. They see how everything is an extension of themselves. And so they constantly run life through the filter of, well, if that's going to happen, how's it going to affect me? Or wow, well, if they say that, what does that mean about me? Let's just say I'm reading an article about women with blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, the Leo moon person or the Leo person would be like, wow, this is an article about blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, what is, what are they trying to say about me? Oh my God. And so they can get defensive. Leo is constantly measuring the world through how it affects them. So if we're at a dinner party and everybody's talking to everybody else and I'm the high Leo person, like I have a lot of Leo in my chart or a Leo moon and nobody's talking to me, I'm sitting there going, why is nobody talking to me? It is all about how this evening is affecting me, me, and one more time, me. <laughs> they can be very myopic unless they've got Virgo, Cancer, or Pisces in their chart. And Leo is not doing this to be arrogant. They literally don't know how obnoxious they're being. They're just like a five-year-old does not have perspective about his level of selfishness. They just know what they want when they want it and usually how to get it. The Leo person also must use their own creativity to grow something, some skill set that is unique to themselves, a unique stamp that is their own. If Leos and Leo moons don't do this, then they can end up in the shadow side just being, they, they want to be creative so badly, they can end up being hollow, vacant copycats, living sort of a sneaky life, copying others and stealing material for their own, as if it's their own, right? So Leo moons, healthy Leo moons and Leo's, Leo risings need to do something that make an individual contribution to the world and stand proudly in their creative contribution. And if you are a Leo moon or a Leo, a high vibe in Leo, and you haven't done this yet, well, start right now, because that's how life is going to get really fulfilling for you. Just put one foot in front of the other inside your skill set and your talents and do them a little bit differently than other people so it eventually becomes your 
signature. Leo energy honestly feels like a special destiny. They feel as if they were they were born for this remarkable thing, this remarkable life to live. And they want to follow the paths that are rare, the paths that are the diamond paths in life, unique and filled with adventure. That's their destiny. They feel that. They don't want the mundane average life and they will do anything even if they live an average mundane life they will make it colorful. They will be the party maker, the joy maker. They will bring the sunshine, the creativity. They'll bring the karaoke party. Leo moons above all other moons are generous. Just like I said before, they are inspiring. And when they're highly developed, they give praise and love and support and even all of their interest in you, in abundance. They celebrate life, they celebrate themselves, and they even celebrate you in a big, big way. It feels so massively incredible to be loved by a high vibin' Leo, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, you guys also have to get my lover's package. So if you want to look at your synastry with your lover, oh, you have to get my lover's package. It is so, 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 so good. It is just super delicious. And in it, it talks about how all your planets are connected together and what aspects they make. It's really great. You will love it. You'll also get your love's chart your chart and your synastry chart. So you can buy that also on my shop at soulnavigation.com. You'll love it. You can feel their love and their devotion and their altruism and their joy just being dripped onto you. You can feel yourself just immersed in their adoration. And I'm telling you, it feels so good to be bathed in a Leo's love. Leo moons love intimacy and connection and they love celebrations and the excitement of building a really cool life with you if they love you they're playful they're childlike they love pleasures all the time like we like literally sliding down the slip inside like let's go have fun let's have fun you know they're not usually clingy and they usually are not super suffocating they can create fun and good times with or without you <laughs> they usually love their own company and that's what makes them so gosh darn sexy you know and they're so good at receiving and giving like mutual admiration they're in the mutual admiration club and they're looking for the things in life and the people in life to cherish these people when they're self-actualized they don't even seek adoration for just adoration they actually become a radiant source of love for themselves and for others. When this becomes authentic, that is when Leo has reached its healthiest pinnacle in life. And that, my sweet Leo friend, is when you know your mission has become accomplished. Yes. But in order to understand your Leo moon person, you have to look at one thing to unlock all the secrets. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you my tip, my technique, and my secret here. Okay, I hope you guys are taking some notes. Because Leos are ruled by the sun, you have to go and see where your Leo moon's sun sign is. And this will tell you so much about the person. We're going to look at the Leo moon's sun sign and we're going to see if all this fun, flowing, magical, radiant energy and admiration is easy for Leo to do or kind of challenging for Leo moon to do. So that's for Leo moons. Leo moons, you have to go look at where your sun is. And this will tell you if all of this that I've talked about comes naturally and easy, are you just born with it? Is it just, are you born with this natural regal confidence and creativity and romance and flow? Or do you have to build it brick by brick by brick by brick internally through experiences? If you are a Leo moon, 
and you have a fire sign sun, so that's Aries, Leo, or Sag, well then you're born with all that I said naturally and easily. You're all that in a bag of chips, people. <laughs> Actually, you're probably gonna err on the side of a little too much of all of that in a bag of chips, yeah. So you're probably gonna top it all off, like with the cherry on top, but that's called maybe a whole lot of drama. <laughs> but it probably comes very easy for you and you're probably absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment below. Oh my gosh. And I have to tell you guys that I would love for you to join and become a super supporter or a superstar supporter. I'm building my master classes and you have to give me a little bit more time because I've written them and now I have to produce them, but they are coming. They are coming. And if you've been a superstar, super supporter for at least three months, you get my master classes for free while everybody else will have to pay for them. And if you guys have joined my channel and you're a superstar, super supporter, or just a super supporter, you get 10% off of any reading you get with anybody else on my team over at Team Soul Navigation, and you can book a reading with them. Just go to soulnavigation.com and click on book a reading. And if you are a super supporter, it's just 25 cents a day. You get so many perks. You get your natal chart. You get your transits for the year. Oh my gosh, you get your dynamite day, which is your most important day of the year to manifest. You also get all my behind the scenes videos. So you get to learn about everything I teach in my secret videos behind the scenes. And if you want to upgrade and become a superstar, super supporter, that's when you get my master classes. You get to have all your questions answered in the chats and I will use your chart in my behind the scenes video so you get a little mini reading. It's so much fun. I just wanted to make it accessible and affordable for everybody, but let's keep going. So if you're a Leo moon and you have a Libra sun or a Gemini sun, this is actually my favorite combination because it's called the sextile and there is enough other stuff in your chart that you're probably a little bit more balanced with everything that I talked about in the first part of this video. So all of that energy flows very easily for you if that is your sun sign. Now, if your sun sign is Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus, this energy you have inside of you, but you probably have to dig for it, find it, and grow it. It's probably muted, tamped down. It probably just doesn't pop out of you like confetti super easily. And you may feel like you want all those beautiful things, but they're, they're just a little bit harder for you to grab or express them. You might be a little bit more private and shy, and you might be growing yourself more privately internally. It might take just a little more time, maturity, or effort to get the magic to pop its cork, right? Also, I would say other people probably recognize this magic and radiance inside of you, but you're probably not as aware of it. So if you are a Pisces, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Cancer, the Leo moon is also a little bit trapped inside of you. It's like all those gifts are in there that want to pop out and reveal themselves, but you'll need to take on the challenge of that glorious, gorgeous Leo moon and just let it shine, my friend. Let it shine because it's in there. It's massively in there. It's just that you might not truly know it. I hope you loved this video. Go watch my whole entire Leo playlist and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your heart. Share your Leo stories with all of us because we learn from you too. And I hope you have loved my moon series. I hope you've watched all my moon videos and you've learned how important the moon is. Um, let me know. And from my home here in Seattle, to you, wherever you are at in the world, my heart goes out to you. Thanks for being a supporter and a subscriber. Take good care and I'll see you every single Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. <gasps> Don't miss Susie's live tarot at 4.30 Friday nights. Every Friday night, Susie's doing live tarot. It is so, so good. And Tuesdays at 2, we've got Connie Jo talking all about astrology. It's so good. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of us because we got lots going on here. Come join us. Take care. Bye for now.